Good morning. Paul here and I'm out in the garden doing a little bit of gardening today. Um, I've been trying to propagate this beautiful little coleus. It's called uh, watermelon because it's pink on the inside and green on the outside. And so I took some cuttings off a bigger bush and I placed them in water for about a week and in a week these plants have sprouted roots as you can see roots beautiful roots um, but now they're ready to be potted up and have their roots surrounded by soil so I've got some small pots here and maybe a little bit bigger ones so we've got this lovely little cutting of the coleus and we're putting it in the in the pot and, and pouring the soil around it so that it'll have nice nutritionous soil to put its roots into. And uh, that's how we do it, like that. And in about another month or so that'll be nice growing co new coleus plant and we water that in and away it'll go but uh, we have a little bible reading about this blessed this is from jeremiah 17 verse 7 and 8 he said blessed is the man who trusts in the lord whose trust is in the lord he is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when the heat comes for its leaves remain green and it's not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. And so all of these plants here that are sending out roots because they're in water have nothing to fear. And then we put them into soil and the soil will be watered and they will grow. Matthew said, in Matthew, Jesus said, Matthew 13, he told them many things in parables. He says, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up. Since they had no depth of soil, but when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. So if we put any of these plants with roots on just out in the on the rocky ground, they would soon wither and die. They need to be in water and then in soil to, to grow and produce fruit. And in Colossians 2, 6 and 7, Paul says this, he says, Therefore, as you received Christ, Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving so we need to be we accept christ as our lord he comes into our life and but we need to be rooted and planted in him allow his words and his teachings to get into our life and to help us you know, lead a, a, a christian life and jesus himself says but whoever drinks the water that i will give him shall never thirst this is jesus talking to the woman at the well but the water that I will give him will become in him a well of water springing up to eternal life. So as you drink in the water that Jesus gives us through his Holy Spirit, we then become a, have a well springing up to eternal life. And in John 7, 38, he said, He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, from his innermost being will flow rivers of living water. So as you take jesus on board and accept him as your savior you will be a spring of living water and going and and being uh, christ to the world the christ in you is the hope of glory for those you meet along the way so that's a little lesson in uh, propagation and and also in the word of god this morning you have a great day get into his word and let his word get into you See you later now. Bye. I'll go and give that a drink.